Okay, so my pictures look like this. And uh, I've got an ice cream cone for the top of the head. I've got a woman who, she doesn't look much like me, but she is a fe white female, so therefore she looks enough like me for this assignment. The next photograph is a man with a beard who looks nothing like me. And then I have my hands here um, holding a heart. So I took these photographs and I cut them up and I assembled them back together like this. And now I want to reinterpret this in my final project in a finished work of art. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay a grid over this to make it easier to draw it. Um, and the way that you do that is you're going to go online and look for an app called Drawing Grid. I hope you can see that. Drawing Grid. Okay, and you're going to download that app. And you can come back after you have downloaded that app. Okay, so when I touch on the app, it's going to take me to uh, my photos, all the images on my iPad, and I'm just going to select all photos. And I'm going to choose my collage. And I'm going to just resize it here and move it around so that it fits on my tablet nicely and um, I'm going to set my vertical lines to 6 and my horizontal lines to 8 and that will give me a nice grid of uh, a good size squares and once I get it positioned the way that I want it and by the way this will slide out of the way if you want to look at your image once I get it to the position that I want it and I think I want to move it just a little bit this way. Then I can lock it with this little lock here. Okay. And um, I'm going to scooch that out of the way. And um, <clears throat> put it this way. And I'm going to take a, a screenshot of this. So just press both of these buttons simultaneously. And I have my uh, photo here and I can edit it in um, if I want to, which I'm not going to. And um, I'm just going to click Done and Save to Photos. And then I have, if I go to my photos, there it is. So um, next step, I want to make a larger grid on my paper here and remember we did work with the grid um, I'm going to show you how to measure once again um, to get a uh, grid that's going to fit on the paper that I'm going to give you so you're going to need a paper a ruler um, and a pencil pencil and eraser so I want a one inch border all around so I'm going to measure in from the edge of my paper, I'm going to measure in one inch. Then I'm just going to slide my ruler up and I'm going to measure one inch. Now if you have a long enough ruler, you don't need any more tick marks. You can just lay your ruler on these two dots and draw a line for your border. Unfortunately, my ruler is not very um, long, so I'll make one more tick mark, but you probably won't have to. Okay, so now I have my border along this one side. Oh, 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 we don't want it to move. I have my, I have my border along this one side, and I want to draw a border around all the sides. So, once again, I'm going to measure one inch from the edge, and this is important, or your squares aren't going to come out the right size, and your drawing will be distorted. So don't 
think you can just wing this because you can't. Right, then I'm going to connect the dots here and I'm going to have my border on this side done. Right, and I'm just going to do the rest of it. I'll probably fast forward. Measure in from this side one inch. Okay, now I know that I have seven squares across. And I also know that this is 14 inches. So each of my squares is going to be two inches. And I'm just going to double check my image to make sure that's true, but I'm almost positive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. There we go. Two. Four. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing on this border. Okay, so I have my grid laid out. <clears throat> and now I can start to transfer this onto my grid. So as we did before, I'm going to look, there's nothing in my first grid, my first square here, but in my second square, um, I think I'll draw her hand, which comes in like that. And then it's this next square. Like that. This square, I'm looking at this one here. This square. Kind of a, just a part of a hand, but uh, the wrist kind of gets cut off right here. Now, you can draw this without a grid if you want. You can interpret it any way you want. It doesn't have to look realistic. 
Um, but I'm just going to go for this method because I want to challenge myself and I kind of like it, the idea. So um, the next thing I want to do after I have this transferred is I want to figure out how I'm going to divide this up into the areas that are required. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay a piece of um, transparent film over my collage, and I'm just going to trace roughly the areas that I want to divide it up into. This will be color. Also in here. And this will be long. Now the background, perhaps I'll explore something having to do with space. This is my plan for now. <laughs> 